right, so I'm up here filming a time lapse and I just kind of wanted to show some of the parking jobs of people. Look at this guy. Parked straight against the wall. Pretty cool. Cut it in somehow. And then you look right here, they completely hit the wall here as well. So these are the people you have to watch out for at colleges. So I kind of want to just go over how to properly park in a parking garage. Um, we'll show you an example over here of a guy in a BRZ who tried his best to pro park properly to avoid door dings. So if you want to do it right, this is the way to do it. I don't know this guy or anything, but this is the way to do it. See, he's got the right spot going on. Proper amount of clearance, nice car. Looks like probably some rotas on it or something. Exhaust and all that, so he obviously cares. Sweet ride. But anyways, see this amount of space? So if you have anybody at least parking here, pretty much he should not be getting any door dings on this car. And from what I can tell, he doesn't have any door dings either. So, that's a great way to park in a parking garage. You are going to have to sacrifice some of your time for a little bit of effort to not get door dings on your vehicle. So, I always like to do park like that. See, I have the idea as well that if you park like this right here, you know, you're still likely that a driver is going to get out on this side of the car right here. So if you were to park, for example, on this spot, you have a 50% chance that no passenger is going to get out on this side. So I would prefer to park right here. Now that spot's obviously a lot better over there, but parking right here would be very good as well. Because like I said, you can hug this side of the line right here and then hopefully they don't have a friend this side of the car is not even going to be opened against so as long as they park semi decently that'll work out I went to Home Depot and I just bought a DeWalt angle grinder check that out I'm gonna open this thing up bust out the, uh, the 